So in the last video we talked about not repeating yourself by adding styles to the top in your head in internal style sheets. But what if you have a second web page? Here's my second web page and when I preview it, it's back to the black and bold and ugly and no colors. It's not styled. I may not think these styles are beautiful, but I want my page to look the same as my second page. How do I do that? Well, yeah, I could grab this entire style block and I could copy it into the new page, you know, and we'd have it. But again, you're repeating yourself. That's a mantra that you want to start early in your plans. Don't repeat yourself. You want to try and reuse code, do things once, and then don't do it again. That's where we get external style sheets. External style sheets are an actually another page, another document on your website. In that case, you would grab everything in the style tag, not the style tags themselves. You don't need those. And you cut those from your document. And then you open up a new page in your text editor, in your HTML editor, and you paste them in here. And then you have your style sheet written here. And you want to save it as mypage.css. So my page, and the important part is the .css because you're telling the browser this is a CSS file. Then you can go into your head again, get rid of the style tags, and add a link tag. Link tags link documents together, but they're not anchor tags. They don't link them visibly. In this case, they're linking style sheets, but you use the same terminology. So link href, and then here's a place where we're just going to link to mypage.css. It's in the same directory as my HTML, so I don't have to have any HTTP or anything else. It's also on my hard drive, so again, I don't have an HTTP because I haven't uploaded it anywhere. But that gets you to the CSS that I just wrote, CSS, mypage.css, and then you add rel. It's saying, what's the relationship of this link? What is the relationship to the document that you're linking to? And in this case, it's a style sheet. So you want to say style sheet. Then when you save the document, we can go through and make sure I didn't leave any style inside the inline. I don't think I did. If we preview it, it looks styled. Then, and this is the only place you're going to have to repeat yourself. You just grab that link to the document, copy it, paste it into the head of this document, save it, preview, and it is now using that lovely fuchsia color for the text. So it has the same styles. If we add, do I have an H2 tag style? Yes, if we add an H2 to this web page, H2, my H2, and hit save, and then hit preview, my new H2 has the aqua background. So that's how you add external style sheets to your HTML. You just slap them right in, right in the head of your document. 